Hey, what's going on fam? It's Festus Moy with Lab and Success. It's uh, a quick video real quick. Five reasons not to go to college in 2018. The number five reason why you shouldn't go to college in 2018 is to get away from home. Let's face the facts, a lot of kids are feeling a lot of pressure, right? At, especially they feel that pressure at home to be successful, to do things in life that uh, people appreciate and whatnot. And so in order to do those things, we say, you know what, I just need to get out of here. What's the quickest way out of here? And still make my parents happy is for me to go to college. So we pack our bags and we say, I wanna go as far away from here as possible. So this is the thing. In order to finish college, you have to have a strong why. And if your why is just to get away from home, it might not be strong enough for you to get graduate. It's one thing to go to college, it's another thing to graduate from college. And so the thing is we want you to graduate, we want you to be successful. And so that's the number five reason why you shouldn't go to college in 2018. Number four, the number four reason why you shouldn't go to college in 2018 is for a high paying job. A lot of students graduate with high numbers of student loan debt, anywhere from $100,000. Uh, the average student graduates with about $38,000 of student loan debt. People trying to get high paying jobs don't realize that some of the starting salaries for those jobs you could easily get by doing things like Uber, uh, working uh, for, for Amazon and different kind of things like that. These jobs pay $18, $19 an hour, which is what you get for, with a degree. Now, the thing is, I say a high paying job. Why do I say high paying? The reason why I say high paying is because high paying is different for each and every person. So the thing is you need to really look at, do you need a degree for your high paying job? The number three reason why you should go to college in 2018 is because they made me. Now, who is they? They is your mama, your cousin, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, your teacher, your friend, your pastor, whoever they is, right? Why do I say that? Because the thing is, if you don't have a strong desire to get an education, you're just gonna end up wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. And especially, especially, especially if you're going away to some far off school where you have no systems of support, you don't plan on going to class, and you just think you're gonna flow through, you're probably not gonna graduate. And so the thing is, you're gonna waste your time, you're gonna waste your energy, you're gonna waste your money. So the thing is, it's best to sit down and have a real genuine conversation with those people. And then that way you can work it out from there and figure things out. The number two reason not to go to college in 2018 is because my friends are going to college. You know, we all have that pressure. My friends, my friends, we're all getting ready to graduate. It's, it's well, graduation is right around the corner. And so since graduation is right around the corner and this person is going to that school and that you just start applying to the schools that your friends are going to so you can go where your friends are. And you have to understand this. When you get to college, you're in a totally different environment. So your friends might not behave the same. They might not want the same things out of life. They might not even have the same schedule as you. So their classes will be here, your classes will be there, unless you have the exact same major and do everything the exact same. To be honest, the, the vast majority of people, that's not how life works out. The number one reason why you should not go to college in 2018 is for information. And what do I mean by that? I mean, look, I went to a nice, fancy, private institution for college and sometimes our learning was watching YouTube videos and discussing what happened on YouTube videos. If we're watching YouTube videos and just having this discussion, why do I need to be here doing it, paying all this money in order to get the piece of paper called a degree? That's one good reason why. But the other reason is because the type of discussion is a guided discussion. But at the same time, if you're just going because you feel like you need information, you got Google, you got Bing, you got all these different search engines, you got libraries, you don't need college to get information. So that's it for the five reasons why you should go to college in 2019. Tell me what you think, like, comment, share with a friend. See you later, peace. Yeah.